Hello everybody, it's Diamond Kitty Gaming, and welcome back to Roblox Iron Assault. Today, uh, I, rem I want to remind you that we are streaming until Sunday, so if you're seeing this video uploaded in like the past couple days, I'm probably still live on Twitch. We are doing this as I record, as I stream at the same time. Now, in this video, I already have a plan for what I want to do. I want to play Germany. We have a German fan in the chat now who wanted to specifically request I play Iron Assault, and I figured, why not? This should be fun. Right? Um, yes, this one here. We are doing the Fall 1920 because no other maps have been sufficiently good. We've actually done a video twice now. We've actually done a, um, a video twice now. Uh, one where the Soviets attempted to coordinate with France, and then the second one, I just realized I should probably restart. So, join the fall for a an AU map where the Red Army loses the Russian Civil War. You can normally get quite a lot of, um, quite a good amount of uh, traction going with a good story to your map. So a lot of people will um, join pretty good, pr pretty immediately if you say, um, you know, this multi multi message thing on the fall and how what its story is. Join the fall for an AU map. Also. So, like, if you want to be in a video, join the fall. I never like to say that a lot of the time. Did I hear that? I might, I might want to check that again, because I don't think I heard that. And I'd hate for people to, like, use that and it d doesn't work. There we go. What's up, Twitch? Said someone, I uh, didn't see that. Um, which Germany should I play, though? Okay, I'm going to play the main one. Because I don't think we're going to do a Stalin Thalman run. Even though that would be kind of funny. Now we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a Luxembourgish. Could next be Poland? Uh, we could try and do two videos in one. We could try and do a, you know, we could do two videos today. Sure, why not? We can do a we can do a Polish video and a German video. I think which which type of Poland would you want? Because um, the Red Insurgency, this one over here, is te can technically form a Poland too. If I go authoritarian, I think I get like Poland, Ukraine, Lithuania. If I play like refugee uh, insurgency and such, ooh, we've got a pull and pull. we've got a pull. Uh oh. Yeah. So do you remember what I said about military uniforms? Or Twitch knows what I said about military uniforms. I scrapped that video in which YouTube would have known. Um, so I'm gonna have to redo the joke now. Sorry. Uh, if you see a military uniform like this, it means death. There is no way. There is no way. The, the the people who wear the military uniforms in Iron Assault actually think they are soldiers fighting in World War II. As soon as they join a game with a military uniform started, um, you know, they already think they're Poland middle. Uh, I'm not sure what you uh, mean. Although, Germany ally. How do I play? Oh, this is a perfect time for me to state my tutorial. Uh, sure, France. Um. Okay, I'm randomizing whoever hasn't. Randomizing whoever hasn't. Who has not chosen? Who has not chosen? Someone's standing over here. Okay, they've got a flag. What? 
Who hasn't got a flag? Who hasn't picked? Okay. Seriously, who hasn't picked? I don't think... I'm not, I'm not finding that whoever has a pick. Didn't make a choice. I would if I knew who. Who has a pick? Okay, it's definitely not them. I'm going to start losing players here in a moment. It's not Galaxy. Oh, it's this one. Hold on. It's the troll one. actually very good at figuring out what this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seven, six. Darn it, how did I not do this right? One, two... Darn it, we're losing people, these... Trolls. I despise these people. It's 14. It's 14. It's 14 of the same. I'm sure of it. 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 7, 6. No, see, I know, I know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 6. I'm trying to figure out what that one is. Okay, it definitely is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It's fourteen. It's fourteen of those. And it's I. The name doesn't have capital letters. Well, then what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seven, six. If the name doesn't have capital letters, then what is it? Because it's not that. I can see it right here. It's. I'm trying. Oh, there it is. I L I L. Oh, here is one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And so, I's and L's. Gotcha. One, two, one, two. That's four. One, two, one, two. That's eight. One, two, one, two, twelve, one, two, seven, six. 
She's new. That's not a new person. That is a troll. I did it the wrong way round. I'm getting rid of this person. Six. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Setting game up. That's how you do it. We might have six players left, but that's how you do it. We have six players left. That's how you freaking do it. Libya leave. Yeah, I know. That's how you do it. So did France, to be honest. Oh wait, no, France didn't. That is how you do it. That's how that that's precisely how you do it. By the way. For anyone wondering. Do not give in. Do not let them break you. Just stop them. Eventually, especially if they t send a message. That was downfall. That was his hubris. That was that was pure hubris right there, trying to say what country like you weren't trolling. Hubris indeed. We're not letting Bavaria live, by the way. Unfortunately, that can't happen. Alright, uh, I think we're going to... No! Oh, they made it so tough on me now. Alright, one Germany. Take over Europe. I will. I will. Eventually. What, uh, what ideology should I go down? Oh, France managed to, uh, take uh, Italy. You're democratic. I don't know how to spell it. It's democratic. That's all right. You're one letter off. I will do that. Switzerland has declared war in Austria for some reason. It's gonna do. They're gonna win too. <laughs> how do I attack? Uh, wait. You click on your troops. I don't like how they're kind of gliding everywhere. Troops during attack phase. Uh, I'm glad, by the way, this new person hung around past the troll. Like, they didn't mind, which was kind. I like that. Um, you can watch my tutorial on you okay. YouTube. old tutorial now. Yo, Poland, that's my core land. Poland, Poland, that's my core land. Poland. Poland, I, Poland, I, I'm not gonna Poland, that's not a good idea. Poland, that's my core land. You just declared war on them, but that's mine. That, that's my core land. Uh-huh. You realize they attacked me, right? That's my core land. You recording? Yes. And you're re recording my core land. Yeah, still, still somehow, I was not letting that guy win, I was not letting the troll win. Hi YouTube, Captain B Farmer says hi YouTube, and now I feel bad because, you know, I, I called this guy, you know, I said it, you know, he's, he's going a military uniform, 
It's not good. It made sense the last round. The last round I played, there was a guy dressed up as Napoleon, and that was the guy who killed me because I knew it. I knew it would happen. I feel bad. This guy's fine. I didn't realize the actual, um, <laughs> the farmer says Twitch in response. Um, I didn't realize the actual threat this round come from, um, <laughs> uh, I, you, you never see that, by the way. You never, ever see that. Right to vote, fair elections. Hi, YouTube says Krusty Finn as well. I sub to you. Oh, yay! Poland does sub. Does the flag change? Oh yeah. I uh, when I make my maps, I always uh, make sure that the um, flags change. Finnish commune has declared war on the Republic of the Death. I think Finland actually did leave. It might have been a bit complicated. But that's all right. That's fair. New England has more like North England, North North America, in the North North USA, New England. I don't know how you'd say that, but you know, they did it. Um, I think we're probably going to do another. Uh, we're going to do another version of uh, the fall. By the way, we're going to do a secondary. We're going to do Poland and Germany in one video. I think because this has been far too short of a video at this point. And we're trying to kick somebody, you know. Normally there's some exciting things that happen, but it's already like... You know, South... Oh! I see that uh, Free South Africa has won. And is now still fighting against the failing British Colonial Administration. Which is also still fighting against the Kenyan Rebellion, by the way. Which is strange. Normally Kenya goes down pretty quick because they don't have anything. I said it, so they did that. French commune has surrounded to Kurdistan. It took the French commune t two rounds to actually surrounder to Kurdistan? What you're saying is there's hope if I was to try and play up. Uh... Yeah, there's a secret nation here, by the way, in case you're wa in case anyone's wondering. Oh hey, look! Oh I thought that the flag changed. Oh it's the second Wire Republic. The name changes. Name change. Uh, I don't think I... I should probably change the flag, but uh, I don't think the name... Yeah. We'll take out the Benelux. I still can't believe... Fin Switzerland breaking its neutrality specifically to attack, to attack uh, Austria. Yay, it's the flag like today. I like the flag of Germany. I do too. It's a nice flag. That's the second time someone has called me twice in a row somehow. Like, quick, in quick, short order. What's France doing? France gonna restore democracy in, uh... I think France is gonna try and restore democracy in, um... Uh-oh. Oh, right, yeah, I forgot. Kingdom of the Benelux is, uh... In a, an alliance with uh, exiled uh, British troops. I know why France has troops just chilling out there. It doesn't matter. We're going to declare war on the British government in exile as well if we need to. Yeah, I don't think that. That definitely doesn't put them gone yet. Yeah, the Benelux has a massive empire because they've got the Dutch and the Belgium and Belgian empires at once. This feels right though, don't you say? This feels like an okay, okay German border. I like Switzerland as well, but they were weak and I was strong. Take over Europa? Yeah, I will attempt that. I will attempt to. I don't think... Oh, the Spanish Union surrenders to West Africa. Time to build a boat.
Um, propaganda speech. Sure, it raises our productivity, but we won't go too far in that in that order. Poland has sent you five resources. Oh, thanks, Poland. That's nice. We can now build two boats, which is good because we're going to need those boats to uh, go somewhere else. I could probably take out the British government in exile. But, like, I don't want to do that yet. Yeah, the intent was to try and get that one to Indonesia, but. Oh well. Where am I going? I am going to Congo today because Belgium. I have to take out bits and pieces of that uh, colonial administration I just talked about. Or not colonial administration. I have to talk about. I have to take out bits and pieces of. Um, oh, I don't know. I lost my boat. Bits and pieces of the uh, Benelux Empire now. Because once I declared war on that, I can't actually piece them out because I just took out this area here. They also have a uh, colony. Let's see, where do they have colonies? Oh, Kenya finally fell. Uh, they have colonies in the Indonesia because of the Netherlands. And they have colonies. Yeah, they have colonies over here too. So I took out the Belgian regions. <laughs> Send a boat to save these guys now. Nothing in there is democratic. Which is why I'm going to just liberate Rwanda instead. Oops. Hey, check it out. Don't give me another uh, another boost of resources. Poland and Germany united in something for something. I don't know why or how, to be honest. I'm glad, though. I truly am. I don't know what... I, I don't know what uh, Poland and I are agreeing on. But as long as we're friendly, I guess. Look like I was trying to click and just didn't click on the boat for no reason. Mm. Alright, surname as well. Rwanda rises to power as I think the third dependent African nation. Oh yeah, wait, hold on. Because there's there's the Union of the Horn, there's Egypt. Library, yeah, four, four, four. Oh, wait, no, there's Madagascar as well. Technically, that's technically a French puppet, but sure. We'll include it as a fifth. And I guess the Union of West Africa is in somewhat an African country, though it was created by the French in this timeline. So I'm going to say this is tech. Rwanda rises to power as the fourth African uh, independent nation, or semi independent nation. It's technically a protected state of mind, but... Wait, what? What happened over there? The Commonwealth of New England opposition has surrendered to the independent kingdom of New England. We're gonna build a, another city in... Kinshasa. Because we want a colony over there. I was away for a minute, what happened? Um... New England has conquered North America, or somewhat of it, as an authoritarian kingdom independent of Britain. Um, I took over Suriname, I built a city in 
the Congo as one of the things. Rwanda rose to power as like one of the fourth as the fourth independent African nation. Because um I released it to gain more productivity. Now we're sending the rest of my fleets to become Ost Asian. Yes, he's a, a city in Sumatra, built by the co co colonial administration-ish. The now in exile, also in the now also in exile colonial administration, the Benelux, who thought their colonies could save them. Woohoo! France, uh, the Red Army finally surrenders to France in 1926. Got a fairly large Polish state. Including East Prussia, which would technically be mine. But I guess that's okay. Oh. The Benelux attempted to reclaim themselves. I didn't realize that. No. Get get back. Back! Back! How many people are still on the server? Uh four. As soon as it's just me, we're gonna go to a Polish uh playthrough as well. Posture check. You're right. You're right. I should probably not stop. I should probably start sitting up and not stop hurting my back. Then again, though, I am sitting on a sofa. Normally, I'm sitting on a gaming chair for the posture check, but... You know. Alright, watch me race this boat to Indonesia in record time. This boat's got a captain that's been all over the world. He knows all the oceans, all the waters. He can go anywhere he needs to within about a month. He might he might be running on 1927 tech, but he's he's going for it. Get another Ostasian. Oh, I forgot we actually need another boat. But hey, we'll be able to take off most of this. I'm watching your stream and playing Iron Assault at the same time. Gamer move. Very cool. Russian state, white army is at war with your ally Poland. Uh-oh. We're going for a Poland-Lithuania run, I see. Oh, and France went democratic, too. How nice. We've got a little bit of a European Union going on here. If Poland goes democratic as well, which they might, we'll have kind of a... I might not be able to conquer Europe, but I'll have like an alliance with Europe. Yeah, how's that? I get an alliance with this. With that France. Yay! Hey, look! Germany is now the centerpiece of a... strange... That's cool too. Cool. It is a strange but working um, European uh, alliance. I also own uh, Switzerland, the Benelux, and uh, Austria. And we're still doing it as democratic. You know, we're still running as a democratic Germany, so that's all right. I'm going to build um, a kind of sense of war free native in descent. I'm also going to build uh, another city in Suriname. Now I have outposts here, here, in the mainland, and here, just in case. When, in case one of those falls, I can always move to the next one. I think Dutch New Guinea is where the last of the Benelux troops are. I'm coming, these troops are coming almost very severely weakened now. And also unable to contend against the might of the fleet that is the failed, that is the British government in exile in North Ireland.
Okay, because I'm still at war with the British government in exile. But I will put down one of our enemies. Finally, the Benelux shall fall. In the Benelux has surrendered second by Mar Republic. How is there even a boat from Peru Bolivia in the Isn't this a sea you cannot build a boat to get into? Or wait, that's in Hearts by 4. How do they even get in there though? I guess it's a Napoleon thing. They've got we've got a Napole we've got a Napoleon and a Napolish. Napolish? The Polishan? The Polishan. The Polian and the Polishan. France is still at war with the Finnish community, by the way. I don't think they realize they're in a land. As much as I'd like to build another city here and like, and, like industrialize all of our uh, newest our newest land acquisitions. <laughs> land acquisitions, I say. As if I didn't violently conquer them. In the name of democracy, of course. Not that bad. I now have 40 troops. And hopefully, considering the British government in exile only has the city, I think. Oh, this is going to be tight. Very, very tight uh, attack. 40 to 39. This could go very wrong. I also realize if I took Scotland right now instead. That's only 17. I can totally take Scotland instead. What's really going to be a problem is attacking uh, all these boats. Five versus. I'm literally just going to click repeatedly. I don't think. I, I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to manage to get all these. Because literally the fleet is. The, the, the British fleet is serving as a protector. I'm whittling them down, but I'm just whittling them down very slowly. I'm not going to be able to break the British fleet. I broke the entire army. 39 troops, but I could not break the blockade that was the British government. Threw as many people as I could at the northern isle at, at the northern island, and all I could do was sort of hit it. The great burning of the British government in exile. The great burning of the Her Majesty's Royal Fleet, or His Majesty's Royal Fleet, 1930. But. You know, either way. The failing British colonial administration will be dealt a massive blow when they realize the master of the failing British colonial administration in Northern Ireland is now gone and thus. They literally have no one to listen to but themselves. That goes. So they're now not just the failing British colonial administration, they're the only Britain and the only colonial administration. These guys are at the, right, right now a remnant of the past.
I think I'll probably liberate a British Republic, honestly. It looks kind of weird owning Austria, Switzerland, and Northern Ireland. Oh, I wonder if I can liberate Northern Ireland instead. I normally add things like that. I go over the top where, like, one tile will normally have, like, two things you can liberate it on. So I might not have to liberate the uh, colonial administration. I might be able to liberate Northern Ireland instead. Expand ability in the Netherlands. Let's see. Republic of Northern Ireland, yeah. I can liberate Northern Ireland instead. Technically Ulster, I realize. So we've got two Irelands now. And one that just happens to be far more in line with my policies than the other. It's definitely not because I released them as a puppet, they're totally independent. Trust me. The Russian state has been exiled to North Sakhalin as they as they normally always are. Where else are our players? So France is currently cascading down uh, Sweden, adding more to our little European Union we've got going here. Uh, New England owns North America. They they did it. New England from Vermont to Alaska to Roca Veracruz, they own New England. Oh, and Manoas, too. <laughs> and Manoas. Darn. New England owns North America. Normally, Germany does more, I, I gotta say. Extended communist state of Turkey. I guess where there is a communist state, there will always be a communist state. Anyone who hasn't watched Men in Black did not get that. We've got the Central American syndicates, ironically, in the Central Balkans. I think they got lost somewhere. And, um... Right, somehow in the Blitz for control over Yugoslavia, uh, Slovenia won. I'm honestly genuinely surprised. Slovenia one against pretty much everyone else and that 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 that's some fate that's some luck that slovenia had unfortunately it is about to run out so slovenia's luck is about to run out or maybe what should i run should i run against the corporate league strike against capitalism or should i let slovenia be should i let slovenia be and attack capitalism incarnate corporate league or, um, not. And, uh, attack Slovenia instead. It could be either thing. I could do either one. France, why do you have so many troops on my borders? Trust me. I know what you're gonna do. You should not have the strength to do it. Do not ruin this video. Do not ruin this video. Perhaps ruin this video. Well, not yet. Could you not, like, step in the middle of me? Oh, 
Colin. Colin, can you help out? Don't worry. Great. Glad that I don't have to worry. Trust me? Okay, cool. I do. I trust you. What? No, this is a bad idea. Trust me, okay. I don't. Why? Because I have colonies. I know what you're trying to pull. I know that, that you're trying to pull a liberation thing. I know what you're trying to pull. You're aware I have colonies, yes? Betrayed by France for the second time. Okay, yeah, so Poland, you, you gotta, um, yeah, do anything here? Because all you did was let, um, ser seriously, all you did was let, uh, oh, there you go. And Poland's got a strong army, right? What? Again, you're aware I have colonies. Yes. Like, I'm still alive. You're not liberating anything. You're taking it for yourself. You are liberating nothing. I immediately thought that Iron Assault players were smart for once, and then I remembered that that wasn't possible. Just kidding. You guys are totally fine. You know, you could, like, do logic checks first, you know. Like, just, just basic logic checks. Make sure you guys are all doing fine. Sorry, I need to go. What happened? Uh, both my allies betrayed me. Poland thought he was doing something silly. And he was gonna, like, do some cool liberation move. Where he declared war on me and, and France at the same time so that he could liberate me, and then he forgot that I had colonies. So you see, issue, me having colonies means he's liberating nothing. He just kind of took Berlin for himself. But I did remember that I had an extra attack force, um, and France is going to lose most of its Russian territory. I also managed to liberate the entirety of Occitania when I initially attacked France, so it lost its south as well. So, as much as we've lost our forces and our homeland, we are still much, very much in the race. Hey, we've got a major city again. And the Peru-Bolivian Confederation for some reason. Mm, yeah, France will rage, but I, I, I sort of expected that. Here, thank you for what I assume will be the liberation of all Germany. I guess I can trust Poland. Le Havre. There we go. I gotta go? You're gonna leave me to clean this up this mess? Bye. See you. See you later. Alright. 
city of Paris. Oh, and then it just auto-declined when I left. Alright, well, I think the German army is going to succeed in this uh, war, to be completely fair. At this point, France has been knocked down by the Polish. To the point, I don't think they're winning this. So we'll liberate... Now you're alone, yeah. So we'll liberate the the rest of Germany from France. The same stuff we just attacked. With a boat, we're going to regain what we lost to France's invasion, plus just a little more. Also, yeah, I, I, I note how um, note how I also managed to liberate the Republic of Andalusia. So there's now um, a few new nations on the world map. Uh, this is how Germany looks now. So I think we did a pretty good job, to be honest. We've now got uh, pretty much Central Europe, so we've got Italy, um, Northern France. I wonder if I can piece out the French. Oh yeah, I can. They're done. Germany has re-begun. What about the Peru Bolivia? Can I piece the Peru Bolivia? I cannot, but I can lower their support a bit. I can also make sure that the rest of France does not have very good uh, stability after its immediate loss, and that likely Poland will also have the same. So the rest of France will capitulate as well. Uh, Peru Bolivia, yeah. Trust me, there's definitely democracy, and trust me, we have won. It might not be ultra clear, but we have won. That would be the exciting tale of Germany in Central Europe and our charade, but the thing is, that's not vaguely enough, I don't think. Well, you know what? No, 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 we'll, we'll upload it in two parts, because it's 48 minutes, so, you know, whatever. So I think for that, I would say thank you for watching. This has been a Diamond Kitty Game video, and watch the next one too, because that will be Poland. So, um, yeah, I will see you all in the next one, and remember, I am streaming, so if you are just seeing this on the first day, come pop in, go into the description, find the Twitch link, come pop into the stream, come see, because I'm probably still going to be live. So, come and join us, and hopefully follow. Alright, and remember, if you like this video, then remember to put a subscribe. You don't have to like, you don't have to put a, fall, uh, a ring the bell. Just make sure to put a, push a subscribe if you did enjoy, because it helps me out a whole bunch. Alright, thank you.